Hey everyone, this is Sitya Swisher and welcome to another episode of Eventer. So if, uh, before we start, I just want to say that if you've been wondering like the last three videos that I've uploaded are all Eventer videos, but that's because well currently I'm playing another vision novel that's called uh, Start the Witch and well I'm currently in a H scene, in a very long H scene, so that needs a bit of editing, you know? Yeah, and a lot of stuff to go through. Yeah, because I can't like show the whole H scene for the Sabah of the Witch. That's why I've been uploading Ivanica, which is good because, I mean, Ivanica is too. So far, I'm, I'm actually enjoying playing uh, Ivanica too, so far. Even though it's just the start, but yeah. But anyway, in this episode, we're going to yeah go back home, and this is where we're going to encounter Yuragi, yes, and then we'll then it will then bring us back to the beginning of the vision of the yeah. But first, there's a point of interest here, so let's check out something regarding some box. Whoa, look at this left hand frogs. We hardly ever get this big. Let's stop to admire the hoppy creatures about the nearly booby pets. Ah, uh, actually, the one on the right is a left hand frog, or the one on the left is a right hand island toad. But what? <laughs> Why is the one on the right left hand, or unless you're talking about the, their in their perspective, when well, their perspective, well, this frog right here is them, and this frog right here is right in their perspective. So I, I okay, <laughs> left hand frog and right hand island toad. No, wait, I'm getting confused here. Left is right, but right is that in their perspective. And I lost a couple of sanity points, but there's five. Point, the fifth point of interest on left hand frog. What about the right hand toad? Uh, island toad, whatever. Okay. Alright, so uh, West of New Rising is east. Okay, let's go east then. I guess maybe by now the old man, the old people are no longer here. I should be able to see the village soon. Hmm? What's going on? Huh? What now? I just heard a scream, then the chaotic sounds of people fighting. Huh? He quickly rushed to the top of a nearby hill, gazing down the valley to look for the source of the noise. Oh wait, wait, when that fighting happened, we, because we saw in the beginning of the vision of it, right, there was some fighting involved. I mean, not some fighting involved, there was some fighting. Don't tell me Yuragi is actually, don't tell me that scene actually happened right here in the beginning. Yeah, that, that scene, that we, the fighting scene that we saw in the beginning of the vision of it actually happened here. A lone sentinel was confronting a bunch of monsters while protecting a group of civilians and some. So indeed, it did happen here. Ah. So all that fighting that was that we saw in the beginning of the vision of it is actually happened here. And then Alex happened to yeah chance upon this fighting and then wait for Yuragi to finish fighting and after that stalk her. <laughs> okay. Man in full plate armor. Well, um, you, you don't sound convincing though, <laughs> but hey, this is, wow, this music, this music is, sounds awesome, yeah. Ah, those guys are the geezers from my village, oh, sh shit. Oh, we have a new guy right here, this guy seems like a good guy, although he seems a bit, like, what do you call that? I feel fear, like a bit arrogant at the same time. If I seems like a good guy, so oh, come! The brawny sentinel swung his huge axe at a monster, leaving behind only a bloody dump of meat. Oh, oh, it, oh okay, it, it's not Yuragi, it's someone else. I thought because the dialogue said a lone sentinel, it's just this guy. It's not Yuragi. Okay. All right. That means that. That scene we saw in the beginning of the vision of the fight, fighting scene didn't happen here. He kept swinging his battle axe over and over, making means to meet out of the pouncing monsters. Wait, hold on. You mean the sentinel is working for this shit guy? <laughs> this. What the heck? This. Badass, rich guy or whatever, whoever 
this looks like a lot, a yeah, lot, Nova, rich Nova. So I see like an important person to a chubby short man covered in jewelry amusingly looked at the feet of the sentinel with a jolly good laugh. Apparently the sentinel is his servant. Hmm. The the original Japanese text never say anything about your highness, but okay. But I like I guess the translator wanted to show the sarcasm, that's why I added that your highness. The sentinel answered with a sarcastic remark while attacking the surrounding monsters. And this guy, this guy seems this the on first on first look, this guy's portrait looks like some generic guy. I mean, I've seen this this portrait before in Vanica, but it seems like this guy is an important person too. Question mark. But Lord Vom, huh? This guy, this bad guy. Okay, um, there's something that this English text didn't translate. He said something about you can't even use magic, but I don't know why this text here, the, the translator didn't translate that part. But yeah, he said you can't even use magic. Yeah, Mahou Tsukanai. So, it means you can't even use magic. Or Robert, officer of the Royal Sentry. Really show his face though. Me, it looks generic to me. Bob. This guy though. <laughs> Why does he sound like? Sounds so sarcastic. I mean, not say sarcastic, but the way he speaks is like. Oh no! I'm gonna die! Oh no! You, you get what I mean? <laughs> it sounds like, act like, doesn't sound sincere. Yeah, this this rich, typical rich guy. Yeah, typical rich guy. Hey, stop that! The small man named Vom mercilessly kicked away the old man who still desperately tried to cling on him. Oh no, we gotta save this this old guy even though Alex might not like him, but we still have to gotta save him. Oh, oh, Slash! Oh shit, what? The claws of a monster slice through Flash, sending drops of light, bright red blood flying in the air. But their victim was not one of the other. Oh. Thank goodness though, it wasn't one of the elderly, but who? Oh shit, you? The burly sentinel had managed to seal the old man with his body at the very last second. Nice. You're not a lost hope. I like you already. Sure, sure, sure. I'll bring them away, don't worry. Or oh, he's talking to Robert. <laughs> Persuaded by the compelling words of the sentinel, persuaded, double, uh, well, single quotation mark. Officer Robert landed his shoulders to Kutz and ran away. I like how this, the translation doesn't, yeah, doesn't hold back. <laughs> the civilians were finally out of danger, but the bloody sentinel was now completely surrounded by monsters. And next to the rescue. Oh, there we go. I can fight. Let me give you a hand. Oh, yeah. Big she. Nice. The aura. Alex rushed down the hill and finally arrived at the side of the sentinel. He quickly placed himself against his back, facing the monsters on his rear. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I got this. After a quick acknowledgement, the two rush to attack the surrounding monsters from opposite directions. We're gonna have a battle, I think. Yeah, seems like it. Or not. Or oh, actually, if there's a battle, then there'll be a, a battle icon here, right? But no, there's no battle icon here. It means you're just gonna skip the battles. Phew! Aniata. 
uh, data, I mean, not data, but uh, Yatta. We did it. Okay. Too bad, I was expecting a better. Alexander Sentinel easily managed to take care of the monsters, who were mostly counting on their numbers. Beske? That's how you pronounce it. So this name is by Beske. Um, I mean, on first look, it sounds like Rachel, but <laughs> okay. Can I hear hear his, his name again? How do you pronounce it? Uh, oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, the name name. Beske. 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 I'm Alex. I should be the one thanking you for protecting the old fogies of my village. Oh, are you like a roving sentinel so you're not bomb's servant? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pronounce his name as Rachel, okay? <laughs> Rachel used one hand to press on the wound on his belly and reach for some food in his pouch with the other. Hey, you don't need some healing? Alex, go heal him. What are you eating? What's that? Oh? Mary! Ooh! Prunes! Huh? I'll try some thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Are they really healing fruits? Wow! Then the Alex must have must need these fruits because they are healing they are healing powers. Right? These prunes have healing powers. These prunes nearly replenish some of my MP. Oh it's MP. Not, oh that that's actually even better to wait MP oh this one. Oh then means okay next time if I want to restore MP I can just get these prunes. But they don't seem as potent as the grass me grass mellow from the other day. Better than nothing. Ah, okay. Ooh. I'm sure taking a proper medicine would be more effective against something like that, though. That's because I am. <laughs> I don't sound like one. I am a doctor. Show me your wound, I'll take care of it. Oh, that's a we just showed Alex the bleeding cut on his abdomen without hesitating. I don't think there's a need for a second. <laughs> just without, hesita without hesitation. You've lost some blood, but luckily it's pretty shallow. So not too bad. First of all, let's stop the bleeding. Alex took out his first aid kit and started treating the wound with standard medical tools. I'm not really feeling the same energy I did with that mask this time. Well, duh, because... Well, because you're not like... Because it's not a girl, <laughs> basically. You cannot fall over, you don't fall over a guy. You're not into guys, right, Alex? Yeah, that's just true. But I think medical will still work since he's simply wounded and not you. So better not risk it. I wouldn't want to get too excited about treating this guy or hear him for the head, though. <laughs> there we go, you're patched up. Oh, 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 it's kind of exaggerating because it's just a shadow cut. I'm, I'm glad. He's grateful. I stitched the wound and applied a gel that increases the natural healing rate of the ep epidermis. Okay. I have a passive pharmaceutical skill too, so it should be more effective than normal. Yeah, I mean, well, Alex is a special doctor, so. My job has nothing to do with the fact I can use skills with. Actually, come to think of it, um, how, how, how did Alex even get to, able to use skills? There must be a background behind it. Well, unless he's a descendant of that, that doctor, I forgot his name. But is he really... Well, there's no, I guess there's no other explanation other than the fact that he's a descendant of that doctor, don't know what guy. Because otherwise, how did he even have the same powers. Yeah, how does he even have the same powers as that? Get yeah, that guy. Wait, was a girl named Yuragi among the group of civilians who just ran away? Yuragi Jojang? Oh, 
もしかしてアレクが見るのか Oh, you do know about Yuragi? Yes, I am. That's exactly the fact. Are you? 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 Because I thought he's like, he's like, he's a servant or he's a servant or what? Coincidentally, some of the people who had just run away reappeared at the horizon. Oh. The sentinel couldn't help but stare at them with an eye look. You, again. Hola, Milo. You're going to cut up the day or night. Ha! Sasuna Shakturi Sama. Subarashi Gokegan this. Uh, I don't know what to say. Say, you get up to eat the room. Shakturi Samaga, oh, he's a way to meet another. Sasa to cut out, cause it. Yes, he. Warm is really his master. What? Story sweet, you get a little tired of Nagata Yodana. I guess he was just temporarily hired, not, not permanently, right? Yeah. I mean, he said he was escort, he was hired to, to escort. Yuragi has、yeah, safety to the to Rising. But now he got caught up in this other task, so he could have, he could have rejected it, but I guess he accepted it because of money. I mean, this guy is rich. I don't think Vom even cares.、Uh, you say, no, no point wasting my effort, my breath on this guy, on a guy like him. Zutta and Natural Stena. Or let us get Skinny and Mukau to Kide. Oh, so what, what for though? Hey, you can. You even say so yourself. You can even see rising from here. They just walk, man. Lazy bum. Yeah. So, why did you bother to come all the way here to rising? The only good thing about this place is the fresh countryside.、Yeah. yeah, not to mention it's just a simple town. Nothing fanciful here. Some strange item, and it's a junk. <laughs> well, I guess the old junk is something that's just added into his mouth because that's not, definitely not what he said in Japanese. Yeah, he, he just simply said some miyona mono, that means just some odd stuff. That's it. I don't know why the translator likes to add words, put words into yeah, this guy's mouth. I mean, I guess he tried to like make Rachel kind of feel like a bit like a punk or something, like an ass and all that, but I'm not sure if that's the right approach. Yeah, actually, one thing about translation is that you shouldn't really put words into the person's mouth. Really shouldn't, okay? That's, that's one of the very common mistakes that most translators make. That they tend to like, they tend to like to you know add words, put words into the 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 person's the character's mouth, yeah. But you know, in the original Japanese, they actually don't say that. But the English, suddenly he said that, you know, like, yeah. But the the original intention, yeah, the original intention is that he didn't actually say that. You know, like this, it with weird, yeah, Mister Mio, but old junk. He didn't really say old junk. So, that's some odd stuff. So, what? Who cares? <laughs> you the lot? Yeah, Uncle of the current. Okay. I think the current Marcus probably is better. Probably sexy too. I mean, my quest is a female, right? So, no 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I mean because when I read the word Marquess, it sounds like you know princess. <laughs> okay, no, no, my bad. <laughs> Who the heck are you, Robert? <laughs> no, really, why is worm even <laughs> worm? Shaktori. Hmm, I wonder why his name is translated to Bob. Shaktori, though. Shaktori. Shaktori. Hmm, Shaktori, I guess it's kind of like sounds like a Japanese name, that's why it's translated to Bob. Yeah, I need to see the, uh, the Japanese name, the, uh, the word itself, then I'll know what's up. Horus statue? Horus? You mean that space sparing race who got stranded on our world ages ago? Ah, Horus. Da. Horus. Okay. The Horus were a race of alien beings who left many mysterious ruins around the world before vanishing into deep air. Ah, alien beings. I know, like, in Ivanica world, there, is an there was another race which um, I guess are no longer is no longer in existence. There used to be giants in Ivanica, if you remember. Yeah, it's not really that clearly looked into, but like if you just explore the world, and at some point you see some some ru well, not say ruins, but some markings left behind by giants. What seem to be giants? So giants used to like roam around the world of. Ivanica, well, particularly the northern side. Yeah, the hamlet, yeah, that continent there. Giants used to roam around there. Yeah, so here we, in this world, we have Horus. <laughs> there were alien beings here, yeah, aliens. They were believed to have come from space since they looked very different from all the other races of the world. Hmm. Would you be referring to. Not, not gonna tell you. I remember hearing that there's a weird statue somewhere near Prune. Oh, so that's where we'll be going next. Who told you is in Rising? No? Horus, not horse. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did he say horse? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Granny Tsubaki used to tell me all kinds of weird stories when I was a kid. One day she said aliens used a cape north of Prune as their base. But I did see a cape like just uh, kind of like south of Rising, right? But I don't think that's a, that's a cape. And that's why they left a statue there. Because I think Prune is like in the far western part or, or northern part of here. North of here or west of here, yeah. That must be the statue or somewhere near there. <laughs> Although I was not even explaining what your stupid statue looks like. Are we actually going to like follow this group of guys? Well, da. <laughs> Bomb helped himself over the shoulders of his subordinate and commanded him to walk to the village. Alright. Stopped along the way where? Really? So stopped along the way is probably stopped somewhere in a tree yeah under a tree yeah, that we saw in the beginning, beginning, beginning of the vision of it ah. 
Yeah, the other sentinels that lady. Oh yeah, this is where we finally get to see her, and then we'll bring, we'll go back to where we started. Yeah, this vision novel. All right, so on the on the shore of the small lake to the west. Perfect. I'll go there right away. Yeah, gotcha. Rachel bumped his fist on Alex's chest and walked towards Rising. The huge better axe resting on his shoulder. Better hurry, I wouldn't want to lose track of my patient again. Alex turned around and headed back, hoping to meet Yuragi on the shores of the small lake he saw along the way. Uh, not this, no, this is not a lake, <laughs> this is just a pond. Okay, but let, let's go. So, west, west, oh, right here. Oh, it's actually right here. Oh, so this is the lake. I mean, I guess this is a lake rather than a pond. Eh? I mean, if it's a pond, it'll be, a, it'll be smaller than, than this, right? <laughs> okay, but here we go. We're going to meet Yuragi right here. Yeah, he's, she's sitting under a tree, so... Here we go. Let's do this. They just said the girl should be resting around here. Alex scouted the shores of the lake, but could not see anyone who matched the circumstances of his patient. Huh? What? He could not see anyone who matched the, the circumstances of his patient? What are you talking about? I think he, I think he meant the translator man. He could not see anyone who matched the appearance. Like of his patient, but what it means the the circumstances of his patient? I, I, I yeah, this this is a really weird translation. Unless it means something like maybe more like match the conditions, but circumstances of his patient now. I'll look around some more. She sure is playing hard to find. You know, I really need to take a leap. Oh shit! I better take care of it right now behind the bush. I wouldn't want to run into her with my bladder on the verge of exploding, but just when you do it, you see her. <laughs> Alex hid behind some bushes and quickly unzipped the fire of its pants. <sighs> Supreme bliss. I mean, I'm sure there are toilets in this world, but I mean, he's out in the wow, in the. Yeah, so. Alright, here we go. Huh? Okay, here's someone talking. You found her! One of them definitely sounds in pain. Could it be? Yes! Alex rushed his partner back in his pants and took a peek from the vegetation to check on the girls. First of all, let's confirm how cute she is. <laughs> That's why you want to confirm first of all? <laughs> What? She's a hottie, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we're back to where we started. <laughs> yeah, except with this music. Because uh, when we started this vision of her, we, we, we're not... We aren't actually hearing this music, so... Okay, so this, I, I guess the dialogue from here is going to get be repeated because we've seen this dialogue here except that we're going to see some new dialogue from uh yeah from Alex's perspective damn she cute yeah and more importantly oh, <laughs> look at those bazonkas a oh, bazonkas indeed it's jiggling like crazy every time she coughs that's what you care about what <laughs> I mean I mean, you can be obsessed with, you know, boobies jiggling, yeah, that's fine, fine and all, but you're obsessed with her boobies jiggling when, when she coughs? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes her sentinel as well. Then that means her sickness was caused by the hero syndrome. But what 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 got Alex into the idea that his milk can heal <laughs> Yuragi, you know? Has he actually like tried it out before and, and it actually worked wonders? <laughs> I mean when he killed that other girl we saw, the one the uh, one wearing a mask, the ninja girl. Yeah, he used medic, but he did like Suddenly, release his thing or what? Well, 
but he did. Yeah, he didn't release his banana, but well, he did. He did tell that mask, that fox mask girl, uh, the fox mask girl, directly that uh, he wants to have saxophone with her. But yeah, <laughs> but he didn't like let out his fly, you know. Back then, yeah, yeah, in front of the the ninja girl, but here he suddenly just did it. You know? <laughs> well, guy, go and hayaji ni suru tokoro nante. Dare mo mitaku nai da yo. Nor do I. <laughs> the, the number of sentinels has really been decreasing lately. Okay, this is being serious here. Even the younger ones have no other choice but to use some of their skills in battle. Come to think of it, Rachel didn't look that old either. They were probably only a few years, few years apart. Even Chorus too. And she's married but yeah and gave birth quite early actually we haven't seen how chorus looks like yet right so soon soon She looks really weak. She must have relapsed many times already. Hmm. Medica. I bet that Medica at his full power could save this girl from suffering such a terrible fate. So like I say, why did you like let your fly out? <laughs> why though? What does that have anything to do with Medica? And someone said your milk can kill her. What? But you never said anything of that sort. Uh to to that. Fox Master. <laughs> is, is this why Alex suddenly wanted to let his fly out? Because of what he heard. You are saying I would like to have a child too. Then okay, that's all right. Then maybe deep down he's like thinking, oh, really? You want to have a child? All right. Then he got really excited. Then <laughs> okay. Now well, let's have a child. <laughs> oh my god! Alex jumped out of the bushes without thinking. Okay, so now we're back to where we started. Now we're in Yuragi's perspective. My name is Alex. Happen to overhear your conversation. Oh, yeah, actually, he should have like, introduced himself saying that he's the doctor that Yuragi is going to see, but then he just, you know. <laughs> I'm not suspicious at all. But Yuragi is also quite gullible. <laughs> so. Woman, this lady right here is clearly not feeling well. Could you please be silent? No. Anyway, Miss Yuragi, I believe the ailment afflicting you is the cough cough disease. Am I correct? A disease that makes people cough to their death. It's easily treatable with the proper medicine, and yet... Exactly as I guessed, but it's better to make sure of it. The hero syndrome only affects people who, uses, who use skills or spells. Can you use either of those? Well, I mean, he only she only just retired not too long ago. I mean, if we judge it based on what happened in the beginning of the vision order, I mean, she just went and fought all those monsters, and then now she got this illness, right? I see. Alex stroked his chin, carefully studying Yuragi, just as I thought, and I really feel like I could finally unleash the full power of Medica on this girl. 
even if she then decided to keep fighting, contracting more diseases, what I have to do is kill her every time. That's great. I mean, then you have, she'll be in your debt. Yeah. Then you can leave happily ever after, get married. What would you do if I said I can cure you? You should have said you're the doctor whom you, you, you are again, you know? Yeah, wait, from Rising. Yuragi's eyes open wide at Alex's words, shining with a faint hope. This is a critical moment. I have to show myself fully confident in my abilities. Like I said, what does letting out your fly have anything to do with, <laughs> with Medica, man? He didn't do the, the, the... Yeah, like I said, he didn't like, do the same in front of that boss mask girl, but whatever. <laughs> Alex did his resolve and stared back into Yuragi's eyes. Alright. Uh, let me just see. Okay, fully confident. Yeah, uh, I was just because you know I tried to. It takes a while be, to load the backlog. Actually, it, it, yeah, there's like a. I don't know why there's a, like a one second la lag. When I load the backlog, backlog, even though backlog is just many words, right? <laughs> I don't know why it's, it kind of like lags whenever I try to load the backlog. But oh well, anyway. That's why I don't, don't, even like, there's like some intermittent moments here to understand because I was like trying to load the back door. I have a cure! Ah. Ah, what are you doing, seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> hey, did hit. Alex, lanky partner, suddenly burst out from his pantsu. As he finished announcing the good news. <laughs> Damn! I screwed up! Oh, okay. Now this all makes sense. He screwed up. So because he went to take a leak, remember? And then he's like, he overheard people talking. And then that's why he's like, basically put his fly in, back into his pants. In a hurriedly, in a hurried manner. So he didn't like, unzip his I don't know if that's zipper, but he didn't like put his fly back into his back under his pants properly. That's why he just slipped out of that. <laughs> Oops, shit. That's why he had to like sort of like make up some things. <laughs> shit. I wonder how it's going to turn out after this. I, I wonder how he's going to like clear up the misunderstanding. I forgot to close my zipper before rushing out of the bushes. So there, there is zipper in this. In, in, in. Yeah, in this world, okay. <laughs> there are zippers. I mean, I mean, actually, in Ivanica, there's also such a thing called zipper, right? Like, in, in, in the first Ivanica, so yeah. Okay, Alex, play cool. Let's treat it casually. No big deal. Well, I mean, gotta make up some story now. No normal doctor will ever be able to treat your illness. But I can. I'm saying it with my full conviction. Oh yeah, she knows that like, something is coming out of your, you know, no. <laughs> ah, she noticed. Oh well, of that, of course she will notice. <laughs> she just come down, play off like it's normal. Yeah, actually, you should really keep keep your thing back, but whatever, man. <laughs> should I have keep it kept it cool, no. <laughs> ah yes, I was taking care of something. I forgot to properly place my thing back in my pants. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> My thing is not important right now. Please, let's focus on your affliction. <laughs> she sure is cute and plastered. But I better not think about it. As I get uh, something hard in front of her. But I mean... <laughs> you totally could, no? So, what do you think about it? I'm asking if you are serious about proceeding with your treatment. How, how is she going to take you seriously with your thing out, man? <laughs> like, quickly cap it!
You really do? Datara. Have saxophone. <laughs> Yes. I'm surprised. Yeah, actually, when I see this line, I'm surprised. You know, Ragi doesn't even know what, you know, saxophone is. <laughs> oh, she's really gullible. Really, really gullible. Wait, what? She doesn't know what saxophone is? Aren't they properly teaching how these things work in schools? Maybe she doesn't go to schools. I mean, she doesn't go to school, I don't know. Maybe? Saxophone is saxophone. Basically, I put my thing in your thing and squirt some milk in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. At least she seems to know where kids come from. Thinking about it, the word saxophone only ever came out during those kind of classes. That's true, I mean when you when you you know, I mean even in real life. When you learn about health education, they don't actually mention this word called saxophone explicitly. Right? They just say oh health education, you know, where you, you take a child, you, you give birth to a child, yeah, you through the I mean there's things like vagina and all that. I mean nothing wrong with the word vagina if you're talking about health education, you yeah, have vagina, you know. Yeah, I mean, but of course they don't. You don't say those more sensitive words. <laughs> uh, you don't. Yeah, you don't learn all those more sensitive words. It, during health education, only the official names of the reproductive organs, <laughs> right? They will use terms like intercourse, or love making. Yeah, those are more polite terms, right? Rather than what saxophone, you know. <laughs> I bet that's why she got confused. No worries, we'll use contracep contraception this time. Kids can wait until we're more comfortable with our lives. Anyway, if you want your illness job, no, if you want to be free from the hero syndrome, F. Sasuko with me! Shit, seriously, Alex? <laughs> now that it's decided, please remove your clothes. Shit, are you serious? Show me your boobies, your bato. Yeah, show me paradise! Oh shit, here comes chorus. Oi, hentai. Oh, it's this girl! We saw her before! <laughs> we saw her before, yeah, she's the one we actually saw uh, at Oatmeal, right? Like, we saw her and then she was like, who are you? You know, and then she just walked past us. Yeah, pop walk past Alex. Yeah. So is this girl? <laughs> okay. Actually, now that I take a closer look at chorus, yeah, she has some nitsu showing. I mean, popping yeah, here. Yeah. So, we just staying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you do what? <laughs> I'm not a hentai, okay, by the way. Oh, it hurts. What do you want now? You know, if you're not a blood relative of the patient, please stop butting in. <laughs> ah shit! Ah! Alright, and now we're finally back to where we started. So this is where it all begins. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I think his Alex is knocked out. Hmm? So he really is knocked out. <laughs> and then back here, and then oh, then he sees Yuragi, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, and all that, alright. Alex opened his eyes, finding himself atop the familiar medical bed in the examination room of his clinic. By the way, Alex, just so you know, you're not dreaming. <laughs> yeah, in case. Was it all a dream? No, no, no. Ah. <sighs> must have really been. I mean, there's no way a girl could have such incredible knockers. New term, of course, is the boobies, right? Uh, no. Hi, Yuragi! So, yes, I'm the doctor who's supposed to treat you. They really were massive. Good job, Brain, you sure came up with a fantastic dream. Hello! What?
Seriously, man. Yeah, now I get what, why some reviewers are saying like, you know, putting words into the person's mouth. This translator need, really needs to stop. Yuragi didn't say anything. The, the third line, she, she clearly didn't say anything about hide, hiding them better from now on. Nope. Nope. Gotta translate better than seriously. <laughs> Don't put words into the person's mouth. She just said, yeah, it's disgraceful. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, but hey, now anyway, that aside, we have to see Yuragi. We have the shield and her battle hammer. And then her boobies are really cute, okay? So, don't say you yeah, don't say anything about it's disgraceful, right? You're not dreaming, Alex. Oh ha ha ha! The dream became real. It's not became real. It is real. <laughs> Brain damage. All thanks to chorus. <laughs> Broken in the head from the best start. Yeah, he's Alex is. Oh yeah. A loose, a loose screw in the head. Oh man, what are you doing in my dream? Get out! No, wait. My brain will, let, will never let you step into my one of my fantasies. Which means... This is real life, yes. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't involve anyone in anything. I just passed out. Miss Yuragi, thank you for carrying me to the clinic. <laughs> but how did he? How did she like eventually figure out that you you are actually a doctor of here or what? Yeah. Well, that explains why my back is full of chopping burns and pebbles. Yes. I actually kind of like Yuragi against already, but she seems definitely seems like the Galibur type. Yeah, she kind of reminds me of Ramius actually from the Banneker. Ramius is actually quite Galibur as well. Well, well, when it comes to love and sucks to provide, but I mean, when she's serious, she is serious. But when it comes to love and sucks to that's when she gets really shy and Galibur and all that. Yeah, but Yuragi is like really. Like an airhead, you know. Yeah, Ramis is sort of like an, uh, an actually Ramis is sort of like an airhead as well. Yeah, well, she's not sort of like an airhead. She's uh, an airhead, and some call her like with a meat brain. Yeah, like just brawls and no brains. Well, not say no brains. She has some brains, but she's more broad than brains. But Yuragi is more of an airhead. Yeah, I mean Ramis is also sort of like an airhead too, but. Yuragi, I don't think from my impression of her, she doesn't seem as much of an airhead as... I mean, she seems more of an airhead, rather. She seems more Gulliver than, than Ramius, uh, namely. Yeah. Hard to tell, right? We don't look alike at all, except maybe the hair? Color? They say no. <laughs> Ah, yeah, a bit embarrassing, yeah. I didn't do anything, you should stop. <laughs> hey, just stop swinging around the scaffold. I didn't do anything. She said, I just said something embarrassing. But there's no walk in this clinic. It's interesting why Yuragi is like defending Alex, but I guess Yuragi can kind of sense that Alex is really not a suspicious man, not really an evil person, so you know. So you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> yes, hmm? Huh? Ah. <laughs> Oh, 
げで止まらなかったときも引っ込んじゃいました。<笑> But your cough actually hasn't healed, right? なぜだ、I was completely s e r i o u s 医者様はみんな治らないと言いました。でも、アレクさんだけが治ると。私、それが嘘でも気分が楽になりました。But Alex is not lying, you know? He, he just has to prove it, just show it in front of Taurus, Taurus and then, you know? I understand not believing me right away, but something feels very wrong here. What do you mean? If she really thinks I lie about being able to treat her disease, wouldn't someone normally get angry? Well, like I said, this girl, Yuragi, she seems like I said, she's. g a l i b e r is one thing, but she also seems like the type who tends to trust people very readily, so that's why I say g a l i b e r So she doesn't like get angry easily either. So, no, Ken, I'm o e So, you're here. ユラギ君の主治医に関してだなあ、ah, yes please me a l e x おのあいかんとにポカバーワイプレン特に希望がなければわしが yes about that I offer my services I'll be good leave this, leave this job to your young but experienced medical intern え<笑> I come bundled with free desserts but I've sorts a newspaper in the morning That has nothing to do with medical, but stuff, okay? <laughs> And if you have any other specific requests, ask me anytime. In this modern day, doctors need to aggressively advertise their services. Like a salesman. <laughs> Get out with the times, old man. Yes, yes. Nice, nice. What? Yes, I did it. Yuragi can not so that they know Nara, Mitomeo. Here, no Jim Bito, Susme or Smash to Itogara. Atoa, Makaserzo. At least Taurus is being respectful of, yeah, of his client's wish. Since Yuragi state, has stated herself that she wants Alex to, be, to take care of her. Yeah, then Alex did this. So he at least he's being respectful here. Ah,、uh, yes, thanks. Oros let out a deep sigh and left the room. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> then I'll be taking care of your case. I'm Alex. You may be a bit late for formal introductions, but it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Yuragi. よろしくお願いします。As you wish, then, Yuragi. You can also call me Alex. いえ、そういうわけにはいきません。アレクさんにはいろいろとご迷惑をおかけすることになりますし。No, no, it's fine. But she seems serious about it. Inconveniences? やっぱりお医者様でも嫌ですよね。人を見とるのは。うん。え死にたいというわがままを叶えてくれる人です。令和尽くしたいと思います。No, I'm not gonna let you die. <laughs> no, Alex, you gotta do something, yeah? I was serious when I said I could hear you. Oh, oh, hi. So, this is me. That's why you always have someone who is straight. You don't sound convinced, though. <laughs> no, you still don't believe me. That didn't sound very honest. <laughs> But I'll forgive you since you're this cute and all. <laughs> yes, you're very kawaii. Sounds like this girl has completely accepted her death and just gave up on leaving. Which might be why she's acting this way. Yeah, like she doesn't really care even if, like, if someone else does something wrong to her, like, does something atrocious and all. She's like, she's like,、uh, forgive and forget. Because, she, because she's like, close, she knows she's at her close to her death's door. So maybe that's, maybe that's why she's acting like this. This is a huge problem. A patient that isn't wishing for their well being will never get any better. 
Well, then I would like to start by explaining how your treatment works. I can use a unique. <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> it did. It can't eat more. Are you serious? Well, I was lying. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Shit. Uh, wait, 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 another wrong translation right there, hold on. She didn't say anything about, I may be a weird girl, no. <laughs> wow, this is a terrible translation. Actually, what Yuragi said here is that, I mean, I do want to do that kind of stuff like a normal girl would. Nothing to do with weird. I don't know why the translator put this as weird. She, actually, what she said is, I want to do... Yeah, I have in... I am interested in this kind of stuff like any normal girl would. Yeah. That, that's what she actually said, like any normal girl would. Putsumi uh, Tai. So it's like, like any normal girl would. I don't know why the translator put it as weird. Because she... What? <laughs> what do you do weird? How do you... How did the translator come to the conclusion that it's weird and uh, he probably read some part wrong? Because he, he might, yeah. Because like, because what she said is, you know, like, Futsumitai. Futsumitai means like, Futsumitai na onna. So basically that means like any other girl, any normal girl. But it's not nai, you know, not Futsunai, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe the translator thought it's like, oh, weird. You know, Futsunai means not normal. But the, no! <laughs> what? Come on, translator! Yeah, that's actually what she said. Ah? Putsumi tai na onna? A normal girl? What makes you say that? Not weird. Okay, this one is wrong, maybe. It's a normal girl, not weird girl. Okay, I think the previous line also, there's some problem with the translation. Yeah. It's, it's wrong, it's, it's really wrong. Right, right, because Yuragi here said, no, that's not true. I mean, I was a sentinel. You know, like, yeah. So she didn't live a normal life. Ah, so you didn't get to live as a normal girl because you were enrolled right away in the academy to be raised as a sentinel. So you didn't have a, a life of a normal kid. Gotcha. I heard about that institution before. They teach warfare and train students to improve their physique, right? Yeah. Yeah, never had a chance to think about you know, things a normal girl would do, like love, falling in love, having a boyfriend, yeah. Wait, these students must be frequenting the academy too. Wait, that's why most of them are girls? <laughs> oh, uh, I see. Because they are ready to face death. They're ready to die, basically. So if they like get involved in love stories, they de it definitely end up in a yeah, very sad, tragic. So they tend not to want to fall in love. That sounds pretty sad. But really, you're so cute. No way nobody has ever tried to hit on you. Were all the male students playing for the other team? <laughs> but you are. Because that's what you are. Cute. <laughs> so please have a kid with me. Oh man. Why? That's why Alex, you gotta... That's why Alex, you gotta prove to her that you can heal her. Yeah, before you even talk about childbearing. Then let's use contraception. We can use contraception magic. I remember Ivanica also has this thing called contraception magic, yeah. 
Well, that's something for pleasure. <laughs> yeah, that's for pleasure. That's well, um, just say pleasure, Alex. No harm. He should believe you. Come on, Alex. You gotta really prove to her that you can heal her. Just heal her. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta heal her. This is hopeless. I have to show her I can really cure this disease. And restore her will to live. Yes, that's right, Alex. You gotta do it. You gotta show it. Yeah, with act with action. You can't you can't actually just say words. Yeah. I think it's gonna get into her head. Unless you show it. We will start with a lighter medical treatment then. It should give you a temporary respite from the symptoms. But this temporary treatment is actually permanent. <laughs> Alex Sensei? <sighs> so, it's all up to you, Alex. It's a bit embarrassing hearing you address me like that. The villagers have never added the... Uh, the villagers here never add the doctor part. Sensei. <laughs> Alright, Alexan. Let's start from a quick check on your of your condition. Please sit on the medical bed and relax your body. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Obviously, please do. Ah, actually, no, keep them on for now. Okay, why? I, I mean, I, I guess he didn't want to get punched by Chorus Kid. <laughs> I must resist. The quick pick at her bear jacks will surely make me lose, lose co all control. Alex tried his best to drive away all perverted thoughts and behave like a proper physician. I would like to introduce you a special skill called Medica. Here we go. Yes. Not only, I can also use spells. But I'll explain more about that later. Although, I would also like to confirm if you properly know how the hero syndrome works. Well, actually, I think I'm going to stop here because uh, I think this scene is going to take a while. Yeah. Because it seems like they, the, this scene is gonna like go all the way until Alex heals Yuragi and then Yuragi will be like so happy and then you know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna actually stop here for this episode. In the next episode, um, we'll be continuing with this scene. Yeah, so, yep, that being said, I'll see you next time. Okay then.